All right, I'm going to do a video about the underhood wiring of Mega Squirt here. It started out with a nice big 8 gauge power cable. It goes into this relay here. And this relay is switched by the ignition and basically comes into a fuse box here. So, I've got all the fuses pulled off at the moment except for this one just as a demonstration. But so 12 volt comes in at the top and it puts 12 volt out the sides uh, six separate circuits so I'm going to be running uh, see I've got fuel hooked up up here at the top right so I'll be running him uh, and then probably two spark fuses I believe uh, I was planning on doing two fuel but I think I'm just gonna go with the one um, then I've got the mega squared ECU power here at the bottom and then I ran an auxiliary 8 gauge over to uh, kind of the area in the floorboard. So I'm going to use that to hook up a power inverter just to run my laptop since I know I have my laptop hooked up in there a lot. So get some decent power in there. Uh, but basically what happens this red wire here comes into the relay. The relay coils grounded right behind the relay here on this lug. Uh, it's just uh, self tappers driven into the firewall. Well, basically, <clears throat> excuse me, when this uh, red wire gets power, it gives this nice big 8 gauge wire all the way around. Uh, a lot of good power to the Mega Squirt and to the injectors and to the spark system uh, and all that. So, most of the factory stuff is going to be out of the picture because uh, I'm going to remove that later on. So, the red wire that switches all that is actually tied into the ECU here. Uh, off the ignition switch so I have verified that that is 12 volt hot while cranking which is very important so that the ECU can uh, sync the uh, crank trigger and start spark so it can actually start the car uh, something else I've got left to do these female relay pods here uh, go to the auto shutdown relay and the fuel pump relay so I have to rig those up rig them together essentially uh, so that the mega squirt can power them uh, unfortunately the output of the mega squirt is only good for about one of those uh, automotive relays on the fuel pump output so I've got to uh, daisy chain those relays so that one of them flips the other one stuff like that there's a lot of information out there on that so I'm not going to go into exactly what I do for this car but uh, Basically, when I turn on the key, everything will get power there. Uh, when I turn off the key, it'll all go away. Uh, Mega Squirt will uh, provide the fuel pump power, though, uh, through this uh, cable right here. It's a separate one I ran. It's actually two cables, but I only need to use one of them. So uh, that should do it for the power system.